Hello and welcome to the first ever course vlog on the Showdown Golf channel. I'm going to narrate over some all right golf shots, some amazing scenery at this incredible golf course on the border of France and Switzerland. Hello and welcome back to Showdown Golf, creating golf content on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays every single week. I'm an amazing La Anarchy, La Nassi, uh, French golf course right next to the lake, which is amazing. And in the mountains, in the Alps, and uh, I'm on the fourth hole. Uh, it's quite a short course. Um, it's very wet underfoot playing in the morning, but it's lovely here. Really, really quiet. We're up in, up in the mountains. Um, playing with my girlfriend, uh, who's doing quite well, which is annoying. Um, but look at this view behind. It's just incredible incredible very lucky to be able to play here on holiday i'm also going to try and play in cam when we drive down there later on in the holiday so looking out for that video later on too but i'm going to try and do a bit of a different video today i can try and narrate over um, me playing some golf in this beautiful setting but it's amazing look at these fairways so green obviously the mountains in the background incredible here's vicky a beginner um, who did very well today, um, very consistent. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, very consistent, putted well as well, um, but striking the ball nicely, working our way down the fairway. And here's me chipping onto the fourth and put it quite close. Very happy with that one. Acting as if I'm not. Awesome place. And there's a summary of my putting for today. So yeah, it's, it's a lovely day here, it really is. Um, it's the morning, it was about 11 o'clock French time, so about 10 a.m. UK. And yeah, it's just so blissfully quiet. Seems to be only two balls on the course. Um, the only thing that's difficult when playing abroad is trying to get used to the yardages, because obviously they use meters rather than yards. And therefore, when something is 180 out it's actually about 210 oh, so you have to get used to that although it is a very short course like i said earlier it's um it's very nice fairways in great condition you can hit some really nice approach shots and the tee box are lovely um the greens probably just been hollow tined and um are very sandy now i'm not sure why it could be because they're trying to absorb lots of the dew um because Obviously, you know, when you're in the mountains like this, uh, you can see behind me, which is obviously incredible. You get a lot of mountain dew mist, uh, which makes the course very wet in the mornings. So it could be to, to soak that up, but it makes putting quite difficult. I've made a few sort of 10 footers, but nothing outrageous. And uh, lag putting is slightly harder, but you know, lovely course. And if you are in Annecy at any point, which is very close to Geneva on the Swiss and French border, then this is well, well worth a visit. And it really is. And honestly, I can't get over how lovely it was. We went out at about 10 a.m. tea time and it was just incredible. Sun was shining, luscious green fairways, and um, yeah, some really long walks in between holes, which allowed us to see some of the wildlife. I definitely suggest either a buggy or an electric trolley for this course if you are to play it. Lovely drive from Vicky, really hitting the ball lovely. Down the middle, find the fairways, but even she's shocked with that one. So yeah, this is what a course vlog will look like on the Showdown Golf channel. Bit of narration, bit of, uh, bit of shots, hopefully some lovely landscapes, amazing golf courses. Um, if you do like this video and the other videos that we create, we're creating videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays for you guys. Please drop a subscribe, please drop a comment. We really, really appreciate it. And yeah, continue with the course vlog. This was the signature hole. So elevated tee, Vicky actually drove pretty well all day finding fairways. Um, that actually does find the fairways quite wide, but yeah, look at this shot. Mountains in the background. I absolutely smashed that one. And there's an elevated green as well down the end. Incredible hole, signature hole. So back nine now, uh, I think we're heading towards the lake. It feels like we've done the, the outside of the course, which is the front nine. And now we're heading back towards the lake. Still got obviously mountains in the background. But 
uh, yeah, we're definitely heading back towards the main lake of Annecy, which is beautiful. There's some amazing chateaus. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it. Just incredible. Amazing, amazing setting here. Right, onto the first par five. Um, set against paragliders going above me. See if I'm going to zoom in on this. Oh, there goes the blue. Um, paragliders going above. It's so luscious and green. First par five, which is on a 13th hole, and I think it's the only par five. Let me have a little look. No, the last is a par five as well. So two par fives on this course, lots of par threes, um, and lots of sort of medium sized to short par fours, which, like I said earlier in the video, it makes this course very gettable if you're playing well. Where I'm playing okay, I've actually played the back nine a lot better than the front nine um, with, with consecutive par so far. Uh, even on that 200 plus yard par three, which is pretty good. But yeah, onto par five, big drive required and uh, playing away from the lake now. Uh, feels like we're gonna zigzag up the hill. I'd really found some form at this point. I was on a bit of a par hunt and this one, I actually found the green in two on a par five, first par five that we played and um, had this putt for Eagle. And I was confident, confident, confident. Oh, just ran by, but an easy birdie after a run of four or five pars. So I had a very, very strong back nine. This was a lovely hole that was tucked away, took a big old divot, but came up slightly short here on the green, but lovely dog leg to the right hand side. I know there's been some uh, comments about us not potentially repairing divots. We do, we just do it off camera, uh, especially on fairways like this, where it is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, the uh, it's so green. It's like no one's ever taken a divot out of it before. This is a par three. Oh, I've hit that quite thin, but it just kind of grabs onto the edge of the green. And this was the 18th. Look at that setting for the 18th tee box. I hit a nice shot down here. Par five. This was for birdie. It wriggles around. Really didn't want to make a three part on camera on the last. Uh, so as I walked out to this, pretty nervous to be honest, because I didn't want the, the camera to be rolling throughout the whole of a three part. I stepped up and I sunk it. All right, that's it. 18 holes at Lanasi Golf Club. It was a beautiful day, amazing day. So thank you so much for watching. This is a new sort of course vlog. If you did like it, please drop a comment. Please drop a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays every single week.